I hate how when I like certain things, it bothers me when they don't do well, right? Or they're being they're being ridiculed or talked about in a negative way. Like if my favorite sports team lose, I get pissed, kind of, you know. Even though deep down inside, I know they can't win every game. I get kind of pissed. I don't watch Sports Center that night. I don't want to talk about it. If my coworkers bring it up, I don't want to talk about it. Now nah, look at Xbox. If you subscribe to me, you know I'm a fan of Xbox, right? Um, for the last four years, we had to endure. Yo system sucks. Yo system weak as hell. PS4 selling three to one compared to the Xbox One. You don't have any games. We had to deal with this for four years, right? So, now, this great system is announced that's way more powerful than the PS4 Pro. And we're finding other reasons to complain about it now. And it's bothering me. Like I said, it shouldn't bother me, but it does. I just read an article. Um, I forget who it was from, but Crackdown 3 can be completed in two hours. Come on, man. If you played the first two Crackdowns, you can go straight to the main boss. It's going to be hard, but you can go straight to the main boss. That's how the first two games was. And I'm pretty sure that's how the third one is, because they already said you can do it. But it's going to be really hard. But in the article, it actually says, but a typical playthrough takes 12 to 16 hours. But this clickbait-ass title, Crackdown, can be completed in three hours. See what I'm saying, man? See what I'm saying? It's bullshit. And it bothers me. Yes, it does. We got Digital Foundry doing their job saying Assassin's Creed Origins looks phenomenal. It looks like a high-end PC game. But the only thing that everybody heard was it's not native 4K. It's close, but it's checkerboarded. It's checkerboarded. Okay. Okay. So all hell breaking loose. Not just the media, not just Sony guys, but Xbox guys. Xbox guys are like, what? This is bull. I'm not gonna pay a hundred dollars more for a system that's the same as the PS4 Pro. So I'm trying to figure out, are you mad at Ubisoft or Microsoft? Cause it's clearly Ubisoft fault. They said Assassin's Creed run on a 900p engine, right? And Microsoft said it should be able to upscale, I, I, I mean to uh, scale up to native 4K. But for some reason it's not with Assassin's Creed Origin. So is that Microsoft fault? No. Then we have dumbass Xbox guys. It's five hundred dollars. Why did you, did you think it's gonna be lower than that? Okay, there was a point I thought it was gonna be five hundred. Then I let the people think me maybe think it was gonna be four hundred, but it's five hundred. Okay, the shit is a beast. It's a great system. We paid five hundred dollars for the original Xbox One. Get up, Jason. Find them. Phil Spencer said it's Get not competing them. with the PS4 Pro. It's competing. It's in a league of its own. He said the PS4 Pro is competing with the Xbox One S. <clears throat> right? Then we have another uh, some Xbox guy saying Microsoft announced 42 games at E3, but the majority was indies. Let me ask you a question. Did you really think Microsoft was going to announce 42 AAA titles? You know how expensive AAA titles are? You thought they was about to announce 42 AAA titles. Okay. Okay. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. Microsoft cannot catch a break. For every time they do something good, three bad things happen. Right? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy to me, man. Sony had an E3 where they showed all the games they showed last year. They didn't announce nothing new. Microsoft didn't announce nothing new. 
But yet and still, the majority of people saying Sony won. Because, you know, Spider-Man. Spider-Man look good, but shit is Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? What's going to be so much better this Spider-Man than the old Spider-Man? They, The fighting looks similar. I mean, the graphics are amazing, but God of War looks good. You know, but I, I don't know, man. Now I'm hearing people saying, well, Sony held all held a lot of games for PSX. Whatever, that might be true. But I'm, I'm just tired of this stuff, man. Like I said, it shouldn't bother me, but it does. I hate that I feel this way about a brand uh, um, that, that I don't have relatives to work for, I don't work for, I don't have stock in. But I do. What can I say? What can I say? It's crazy, right? Then you also hear, Oh, man. Microsoft developers aren't as talented as Sony's. And that absolutely might be true. Like I always say, man. I always give this analogy. Every team in the NBA doesn't have a LeBron James or a Kevin Durant or a Steph Curry. No, every team doesn't have that. Sony owns Naughty Dog. They own uh, Sony Santa Monica. And they own Gorilla, who's actually good now. Cause but for years they weren't that good. No matter what. Okay, what can we do? You cannot. What else can we do? You can. Microsoft has the best racing developers. They have the best first-party multiplayer with with Halo Gears, right? I mean, but they don't have the best storytellers. To be honest, that's true. Sony got the best storytellers. It is what it is. So, can this stuff just be, <laughs> I don't know, man, I don't know. I just had to vent because this is too much stuff going on. Now let's talk about the PS4 might hold back the Xbox One X. Why is that? Early in the generation, the Xbox One wasn't holding back the PS4. They was making the PS4 version better. Get up, Jason. This confuses me because the PS4 was just a little bit more popular than the Xbox One. The Xbox One X is way more popular than the PS4 Pro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the hell going on, man. I'm going to give you something to eat and go. Peace out.